they can be broken, that's okay. It's a fairly thick one. That's A lot of them on this side, the right side, I'm sorry, the left side of the picture. And I'm probably going to darken some of this, these um, branches on the tree. There's a lot of thick paint on there, but some dabs of dark will probably help. But first I want to get these little branches in. Then after that, I'm going to try to blend this dark a little bit better. That's going to be a little bit difficult, but it's definitely doable. I want to darken it is that I don't want the branches that I'm putting in now to detract from the overall interesting shape of the larger parts of the trunk. So I want it to stand out, but I, I also want it to be realistic in that trees do have a lot of little branches. probably end up painting this tree again. Maybe I'll wait until it comes into leaf and see how it looks. Sometimes when I come home from someplace in my, from my driveway, I see this tree. And it's always fascinated me. Might as well put something coming off of this indented branch too. Well, I think I've only got a few more branches that I want to put in. My interest now is going to be on blending the sky, getting the sky right. Then probably going down into the grassy area. I kind of like the way it's kind of sketchy, this area. But the final thing that's going to make it, I think, is going to be putting some more darks into the tree in a dabbing kind of way. So now I'm going to, I am going to concentrate on blending this. I think I've got enough branches for the moment. You can always put some more in later. So I'm going to mix some more color for this sky. I'm hoping, I'm aiming for a, a pinkish, bluish, lavenderish, but that's something that's lighter. I already have a good bit of lavendery pink on here. I'll grab a little of this darker blue. Maybe I'll have to add some more. Ultramarine blue. I don't want it to be too blue though. I want it to be more of a, you know, cloudy gray sky. Just a 
dab of black, just a tiny dab. So I saved this brush. that I used before for some of the blue sky. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. Stand back, of course, to see how this addition looks. I think it's it's working. Skies are so funny. I I constantly looking out to see the sunset or something, and some days it, it's just different. I mean, it's different all the time. So I can take a pi another picture of this on another time, and it could be a, maybe the same shape of tree, but the sky could probably look entirely different. So I'm putting this over pink, especially over in this area, this pinky orange color. And it's, it's working out okay, except for where I'm picking up some of the tree. I feel like I could play with this all day and never, well, I could just play with it all day. But if I did, it would probably turn out to be a bunch of mud. You're going to have to always remember to wipe your brush from time to time when you're painting wet into wet. Um, people get so frustrated because of picking up the other color. But if you kind of wipe your brush with your paper towel or your rag, it helps a whole lot. I just got a little of this color into the tree trunk. I'm just going to fix that. So I want both sides to kind of look alike. In, in another painting, that might not be the desire, but in this painting, I want it to kind of be balanced, knowing I'm never going to get it perfectly balanced. So now and then I'm going over to this part where I've got this pink color and trying to blend it in. Now I'm going to try a little bit more. Of a, I'm going to mix some more pink. Or coral. Grab some of this other paint that's here. And a little dab of, this is cadmium red light. I don't want it too dark, but I want it to be shown, showing up. If it's too dark, I just won't put it on. I'll, I'll lighten it. brush a little bit. Put the X 
excess paint off. And maybe you take a look at my photo. The photo has the clouds in layers. I don't want that because I think it detracts from the tree. But I do want some of the coral color that's on the bottom. seems to be working out just a little bit not not a lot of it ultimately I'm going to paint I think I may have mentioned this in the beginning I'm going to paint the sides of this canvas not sure what color what I'm going to do I mean I could extend the water the sky the tree but probably we'll just paint it um, a neutral blue that matches what's up here. It's not going to be seen that much once it's framed, but you can see a little bit. Um, I might not do any more with the sky. No, a few touches there, there. Okay, so now that I've got the um, coral pink set in the way I want it, I'm going to go ahead and darken the tree some because when I look at it from a distance, it's too much the same color as the ground down here. And it's just not dark enough. So I've mixed some dark. But that said, I'm going to go ahead and mix a lighter version so that I can kind of alternate and have it kind of, not layered exactly, but um, just different texture on the tree. Um, need a little blue. When you look at trees, I might have said something earlier, but when you look at trees, it's just amazing the different colors you can see in the trunks. So these are essentially grays that I'm mixing. One is a very, very dark gray, almost black. That's the one with the ultramarine blue and burnt umber. So I'm gonna set the reference photo over here. You can see it pretty well. And I'm ultimately gonna go back over down where the grass is but I don't want to do too much because I like the idea of a thick and a thin section of this picture. So starting by getting my brushes pretty well loaded with this paint. And I just looked at the picture cl more closely. This branch that comes over here is actually over this other branch. So I'm starting there, but it's behind the big trunk. So I'm trying to get this more like a silhouette, the tree. And I will probably do a little bit of, not much, a little bit of lightening up the water. That's why it's so important to step back from your painting and just analyze it for a bit. I just want the overall appearance of this tree to be darker while still leaving in some of the layered aspects.
I'm almost kind of sliding the brush along. I definitely want my brush strokes to show, which is one reason why I'm using two different colors, although I haven't gotten into the lighter color that I made yet. Now might be a good time. Just want a kind of rough appearance for this. So I have to take that out. So I need um, a little bit more of this color, but I'm not going to mix it with the palette knife. I'm just going to go ahead and use my brush to mix it. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's looking better already. so sure I like what I just did. I'm going to take a, a brush and kind of, I saved some of the blue sky color, so I'm going to come in here and bring that in. And while I'm doing that, I might as well do a few others. Again, dabbing. Now I'm going to step back. There are a lot of places where I've got the paint really thick on this tree. So I had made some more, some more of a lighter color. I'm going to just go through it very lightly. And I can see some other areas that need to be fixed. So I've got a lighter color for the trunk and a darker color. Darker colors in the brush I'm using now. It might be difficult for people to see, but when you look at the painting up close, you can definitely see the difference. I normally don't like hard edges, but on this painting, it might be that they work in a, in a sense of almost a Japanese print kind of thing. Um, just to see this whole kind of design of the tree trunk. Again, I'm dabbing the brush. And just going to places where, not randomly, but places that I see 
or just a little bit of extra paint would be helpful. Using the side of the brush. I'm going to leave it at this for now and go ahead and work in with the um, grass next to the picture. Okay, we took a little break and while, during the break I, I looked at the grass and I put a few dots of red in it. I'll put another one but I, I've already, I've got enough. No, I don't want it to be too much but like right here. So you, you pretty much have to look at the painting up close and one of my um, workshop teachers taught me that if you have green leaves on a plant or a floral picture, it's a good idea to put a little red on the leaves, just little touches of it. So in this case, I was fairly liberal in that I wasn't being particular in putting some red in, um, just to give it a little more interest than being a flat color. But in the meantime, um, my real thing that I want to do right now, not my real thing, but the thing I want most to do to finish this up is to see about putting some color into this, some additional color into this water. And that's so tricky because, you know, water goes in currents and the light on the water changes all the time. But I'm going to try it anyway. I can just wipe it off if I have to. I, I'm not sure, as I said, about this. Just trying to have a very light hand. that's about enough. I'm just going to scrape some of it off. Put maybe one more line down here. So I've got my fan brush and I'm just going to trim some of these little ridges. Just I don't want to take too much out. I think this helped the picture, but I just want to go over it just a bit. I just find water to be very tricky. Just now I just it's something I really didn't want to do. But it's fun. I'm not complaining. I think that's it. Um, a little, maybe a little more trimming with the fan brush. Sorry my back is to the camera. Some of the paint is already dried, so that's a little bit of a difficulty. Well, I think this painting is finished, and I'm very pleased. I'm, I especially like the way I did the tree darker. So I'm going to go ahead and sign my name. What I'm going to do, since the paint's pretty wet, I'm going to try using the back of a brush. And I like this area, so I'm just going to put my initial and then my first initial, which is P, and then I'm going to, oh, I'm having a hard time getting, there we go. So, got to get the E on my last name, that's important. So, 
there's my signature. There's my painting. So thanks so much for watching. I've really enjoyed this and I hope you have too. Happy painting, everyone. Thank you.